In this video, we're going to go through coping with pregnancy cravings and aversions. Now, it's very likely that you will get pregnancy cravings for certain foods during your pregnancy. So you might get cravings for very sweet foods, for spicy foods, for salty foods. All this is normal and it might change. So at one day you might want salty foods and the next day you might want spicy foods. You might also get food aversions. Now, a food aversion is where you just cannot eat the food. Even the smell of the food can make you feel nauseous or sick sometimes. So a food aversion is something you don't want to eat anymore. You might have really enjoyed eating meat when you were not pregnant and then suddenly you're pregnant and even just the smell of meat cooking might be a massive food aversion for you and you just simply cannot eat it and that's normal as well. Coffee is a very common aversion that pregnant women get. They just suddenly, they just cannot drink coffee. So this is very normal as well. So you might get cravings or food aversions or you might get both. So what can you do to cope with these aversions and food cravings that you might have? The first thing is to maintain a regular meal and snack schedule. Make sure that you are having your main meals and regular snacks. This is going to make sure you keep your blood sugar levels stable and you're also getting that steady supply of nutrients that you need, both macronutrients and micronutrients. Choose foods high in fiber. This is going to be your carbohydrates, your fruits, your vegetables, and your whole grains. So make sure that your diet is rich in those foods. Stay hydrated, drink water throughout the day, get plenty of sleep, and don't shop on an empty stomach. If you shop on an empty stomach, you'll want to buy everything, eat everything. So make sure you have some food first and then go shopping. You'll make much better food choices. The other thing that you can do is make healthy food swaps or substitutes for whatever you're craving. So if you're craving pizza, can you make a beautiful, fresh, healthy pizza at home with ingredients that you've sourced, healthy ingredients, and you know then how it's been prepared and exactly what is in the pizza. The same with burgers, fish and chips, curries. You can always make a healthy version at home to satisfy any cravings. Don't restrict or deprive yourself. If you say that you're not going to have something, usually you're going to want to have it and you're going to want to have a lot of it the more you deny yourself. So rather than have this all or nothing approach, aim to have a little bit of something every single day. So if it's chocolate that you're craving, have two to four pieces every day rather than denying yourself and finding yourself sitting there and eating the whole block. Remove any temptations. So if there are things in the house that you don't want to eat, if they're a huge temptation for you, don't have them in the home. Instead, get them out of your house and drive somewhere and have buy an ice cream, for example. So instead of having a massive tub of ice cream sitting in your freezer, um, don't have it. Instead, get in the car and drive and order a ice cream cone. And that's going to help you with portion control and managing um, cravings. Food prep healthy snacks ahead of time. So usually when you get that urge to have a snack, you want to have something available. If you don't have healthy choices available, you're more likely to choose easy, unprocessed versions. So make sure you've got some fresh muffins ready to go in the freezer to defrost, maybe some protein balls, some slices, so that you've got those things ready for when you are having your cravings. Get some exercise, that's really important to do. It's gonna help you manage your pregnancy weight gain. It's gonna make you feel good, release those beneficial endorphins. And it's another great way to look after your body, a form of self-care. And get some emotional support. So really important throughout your pregnancy that you've got people around you that are supporting you and uh, making sure that everything's on track. You're feeling comfortable with yourself and you're feeling like you're ready to have your baby. So pregnancy is obviously not a time to be dieting. It's not a time to be counting calories or restricting yourself or getting obsessive about food. It is a time where you can let loose a little bit and enjoy some delicious foods, uh, have a moderate balanced approach. Now, in the event that you do feel you're going a little bit overboard with your eating, maybe you're eating too many processed foods or you feel like you aren't eating enough healthy foods, hit the reset button and get back on track. Don't be too hard on yourself. So for example, if you had 
an aim to eat a certain amount of healthy food, but you find that you're just eating a lot of sugar that day, reset, tomorrow's a new day, start again, get back on track, you can do it. Keep a food diary, that can also help you keep accountable. So that way as well, if you're keeping a food diary, you know that you're getting enough protein. Well, I had meat there and I had chicken there and I had fish there. You know you're getting your vegetables every day and your fruit. You can look back and maybe make some adjustments. Well, I know I'm not eating enough healthy fats. Let's put that in or... Wow, every night last week I ordered takeaway. I really need to do something about that. So that's a way to help you reflect on what you've, be, how you have been eating, and put some goals in place for how you'd like to eat. So it's, it is a form of accountability.